guys. So we can always come back to these shields at any point, act as if we're shielding. It can be lesser versions. Instead of being here, it can be anywhere from that kind of a position to starting to cross. Instead of being here or all the way through, it can just be as if you're getting ready and loading to do this or switch. From here now, I have my switch on my body, my basic body switch. But from ice pick, I also have my outside of arm switch. And what's involved is this. I touch my elbow and I run it down my arm and then switch to the other hand. And the idea here is that the bottom fingers are most important in my grip. So as I get to it, I release the bottom fingers first and exchange them for the bottom fingers on the other hand. The reason we touch our elbow again is for proprioception, awareness of our body in space. When I try to grip under stress, sometimes I end up taking a bit of the blade in my finger. So I might have my blade retracted against my body in a real situation to shield and then flick it out to cut. But when I go for that switch, I open. And I continue that opening, releasing those fingers. So if it's tight, it's my bottom fingers contracting. Once I touch, I begin to open that via my wrist. I open and I switch. If that's too much motor skill, keep it square the whole time and get used to it. If your weapon has a guard, it's a lot easier to feel. If it doesn't, it's all up to you. And again, what matters is I can do that in a, imagine I'm in a retracted position. I can do it here as I walk, yeah? So I can be up, I can be down, I'm in, I'm in that position, I can switch at any point. Retracted position, whoop, and I'm ready to switch hands. As a general rule, when I touch the outside of my forearm, I'm usually going to arrive in an ice pit. So if now I body switch it and I'm in orthodox when I start, when I touch the outside of my forearm, my grip will normally arrive in ice pit. So it could start an ice pick, it arrives an ice pick. Or it can start in orthodox, outside will make it arrive an ice pick. Usually the outside is for ice pick. So I can go ice pick to ice pick. I can body switch and go orthodox ice pick. Uh. I'm going to just chain it all together quickly so you have time to play with them all as a flow. If I go on the inside, same rule, if I'm closed off, I open as I transfer, I usually will end up in orthodox. So if I start in orthodox, I'll end up in orthodox. If I start an ice pick, I'll usually end up in orthodox again. Inside usually results in orthodox, outside usually results in ice pick. So I can do this in a very kind of organic way, feeling how I can switch, and I, then as I get better, I do it even closer to my body, so I can use my body if I need to, to pin it as if I was moving this under my clothing. Right? I, I have it in ice pack and I can switch it hands or I can, I can see what that's like and how I would acquire it. Move it under my jacket, move it behind my body. Mm -hmm. and at the beginning we make it quite obvious and then it all blends together with the body switch. A little less relevant with longer blades because it's rare you're going to use a machete inverted or a kukri inverted. You no, know, you might switch hands, but as far as you'll usually go. Right?